Um, good morning, everyone. What, what a beautiful day. Um, we've just had two powerful speeches from the Honorable Minister and uh, my, my board chair. Obviously, uh, they are the strategic torchbearers to BTC. I've already been introduced by, by, by the MC. Uh, it really is a great day for us. It's a great day in the sense that we are launching this event, an event of this magnitude for the first time in Botswana. And as BTC, we cannot be even more proud. Uh, we would have loved a situation where we were interacting physically with yourselves as our audience, but uh, this is the new normal. We have to interact through the digital means. Uh, and obviously, let me just thank you for tuning in to our conference, which is gonna last for two days. Um, the way I've structured my quick conversation with yourselves, I'm just gonna give you a synopsis about just my company and why we are here, our philosophy and our purpose and the business that we are in and all the investments that we have done to date and, 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 and the future. Um, some of the areas have already been covered. I'll just give a bit of flavor uh, from myself as the MD. Um, Common Knowledge BTC, we all know, it was established in 1980. We are a converged operator, uh, listed on the stock exchange as we speak, the only telco in Botswana to be listed uh, on the stock exchange. Annual turnover, uh, sitting at circa 1.5 billion. We employ around 1,000 people and we work with and through partners, many, many partners, technology partners, local, uh, international, and you'll see them uh, um, through, throughout the two days. Uh, key sponsors, the likes of Bofinet, which is our own, our homegrown brand as well. So there are many, and we thank them for being part of this journey with ourselves. We are governed through a board of independent directors, and that comes with the uh, listing uh, our requirements, and we are proud um, of that journey. The journey has already been shared with yourselves, uh, it's a long journey, but very successful. Uh, we started off as a single brand, became multi-brand, introduced our mobile brand, our botnet brand. We have further conversed post-listing uh, through to a new brand, as you may see it on, on my screen there, uh, which pushes the slogan, the live connected, because we had to consolidate all the brands. And over the journey now, and in the past couple of years since this, since 2016, we've been undergoing major transformation that positions our, ourselves to be a true, true, true digital partner. And we recently launched uh, the first, again, uh, the first uh, telco museum uh, in Botswana as part of our transformation journey. And to, to say to Botswana, we are there to, to, to save you. Our philosophy, what are we all about as an organization? Uh, we are saying we exist to serve our people. Uh, people are at the center of our mandate. BTC is a people-centric organization. And at the apex, really, the, the drivers of, the, of, of this company are really our employees. The employees are at the center of everything. We've got a 1,000 uh, strong uh, workforce, skilled, different skills, engineers, computer scientists, marketers, salespeople, legal people, all driving value. And the value, we deliver the value to uh, a group of people called shareholders as well. <laughs> Those are beings. And uh, our shareholders, we exist to really create value for them. We also exist to create value for the community we live in because we really want to be a true corporate citizen. And that's what we've been doing all the 40 years as an organization. We also have our foundation, which is more of a charity organization where we really give back to the community that we live in. Uh, our customers are at the top as well. We deliver, and our customers come in many forms. It's our people, it's the community. We interact them through the foundation, enterprise, government, and what have you, and, and we work with our partners. So our philosophy really is around driving people to excel. That's what BTS is all about. Uh, and to do that, we leverage on the technology investment uh, that we make uh, uh, in our organization. As you as I said before, we really exist to provide superior communication solutions to our people, to, to enable them uh, to live connected. And uh, we couldn't, 
as we have realized during the pandemic and today right now, because of the new normal, we are interacting virtually, as, as, as you may see right now, on your screens, through your phones, your laptops, and whatever you, we want to in, enable you to live connected and to work connected and to, to improve your productivity through the connectivity uh, investment that we've made and all the services that we've made. Just to give you a sense of our business, again, our business is structured we are a consolidated operation, converge operator that drives mobile offers across all verticals, either to the mass market, to youth, to professional, to residential, or to the enterprise and government. As you may see on the screen, from the left to the right, that's what we drive. We also drive fixed services as well, through all the verticals again. Uh, uh, either it's your fixed line, your internet at home, or your VSET, which the minister referred to earlier on, about a VSET, which you can use at the comfort of your farm, in the middle of the CKGR, or wherever. Um, so this is what we're all about. Um, the next line of our business is the digital service space, and this is exactly what we're going to be talking about for the next two days. Um, and through the digital services space, uh, during, the, uh, during the pandemic, we have delivered smart education uh, products and services with our partners, the University of Botswana being one of them. Uh, the professor, Professor Doris, will be speaking today again about how we've been able to collaborate to deliver smart education. Classmate, developed by uh, Botswana, it's a service that we've delivered through our digital uh, our network. We deliver cloud services through our data center, self-service applications as well through our web portals and what have you. This is the space that we are moving in. FinTech, uh, my board chair also referred to that. Our Smega, which is a big hit throughout the country to enable people to do what I would call e-money, if you know what I mean. And it's an integrated world. As I'd said before, we exist uh, to deliver services to our people, to enable them to live connected. And this is the journey that we've been following. And this is, I just wanted to give you a flavor of the different, the different, the different lines of businesses that we pursue as an organization. The mobile space, the, the, uh, the fixed space, um, the digital space, underpinned by fintech, cloud services, and, and, and many others. The investments that we've made to date, uh, the chair also touched on those, and they range from your mobile broadband all the way to your service delivery platforms. At the end of the day, once you have built the connectivity and whatever, you need to have service delivery platforms to enable people to enjoy your content, to enjoy your services. And we, this is exactly why we support even government to build MGov, eGov, online services and the like, because this is what we're all about. The banking, uh, everyone interacts with our bank through a phone these days, and this is the technology. Uh, BTC's infrastructure enables that to happen. All the banks in Botswana actually deliver their services on our network. So that's how integral we are to the development of this country. Just to give you a sense of our coverage to date, that's our 4.5G. We're very close to 5G, and we've been driving it, as you can see, see on, your, on your screen there. It ranges all the way from Brokweng <laughs> to, to Charles Hill or Mamuno, from Shagaweo down to, to Box Pits or Middle Pits, or to, from Ramadabama to Ramukhebana throughout the whole country because we really want our people to live connected. And we want to give them the best service because it's central to connected living, really. If the service is not of high quality, then our people will struggle to interact through these technologies. Fiber coverage, we work with our partner again, Bofinet, to deliver fiber where we can. Um, in, in most of the localities, as you can see in Khaburoni, we've been aggressive in our fiber rollout to enable people to enjoy quality broadband services. This is where the world is going. We lay out this infrastructure to enable people to work. And you are enjoying this live stream right now purely because of the investments that we've made. And it's been through, I don't know, through sweat and pain and what have you, and tears and the like, through the 1,000 workforce that I spoke about. These people have been able to deliver all these things. Talented Botswana working with partners, international and local, to deliver value. And this is what we are all about as BTC. BTC VSET, this one, I, it's a killer with, uh, with, uh, with our farming community, our tourist facilities throughout the country. 
um, you, and one of, one of our customers will be sharing sometime today uh, our, that experience with our BTC, our VSET solution, as you can see on the screen, how they're able to, uh, to drive productivity within that farm somewhere in the Sandfeld, which is quite remarkable. So we, we are out there to work with all sectors of the economy to enable everyone to live connected and really create wealth at the end of the day. Because imagine uh, if you are unable to actually uh, see what's going on in a farm. I mean, you put one million investment in a farm and you, you, maybe you're based in Gabriel, you've got something else to do and you're unable to actually check out what's going on. It's a wasted investment. So we want our people, our economy to be a lot more productive. Center Data Center, it's our pride and joy. This is, a, we deliver all our cloud services. Multinationals actually are hosted here in Botswana. The Facebooks of the world, the YouTube, they do use our tier two uptime certified data center to deliver services through Botswana. We all know if I were to challenge the minister over there, um, during the last political campaign, almost all political parties drove their campaigns through the digital means. They all had Facebook pages or Twitter pages and the like because this is the world where the world is going. And they couldn't have done that if you hadn't hosted these things locally. And they couldn't have reached out to the masses. And this is a, a testament to the fact that if you build the right solutions for your people, then people will enjoy them and actually drive productivity in, in the country. So the, the, big, the million dollar question or the million pillar question is, why are we really here? Why are we here? We are here for the next two days, obviously, to bring the future into the present. Because we are actually living the future. As I speak right now, this is digital transformation at work. This is for IR at work. We will be traversing, we will be discussing those topics, technology, se services, connectivity, big data, data analytics, FinTech, Internet of Things, cloud, and, and the Mutsuana, average Mutsuana at home, uh, don't be intimidated with all these big words. Um, the work of the experts throughout these two days is to decipher this information and deliver it in a more meaningful way to yourselves. And we will be talking to different case studies. Beatrice will be here to approach this whole area from a research perspective. But at the end of the day, we should answer one question. What's in it for Mozana and the world? As we talk about these technologies, are they really relevant? Are they creating value for our people? And for the next two days, I challenge everyone at home or everyone at their offices who's joining to enjoy this live virtual broadcast to just to pick just one idea that they can take with them and implement it within their own companies or homes or whatever to enable our country to move forward. This is what this thing is all about. And with that, I just want to thank you and ask you to really enjoy this journey with ourselves, uh, hosted by my most talented MCs, the two of them, Ohone and Giselle, the pride and joy of Botswana. So I just want to thank you and say thank you for listening. Let's enjoy this journey together. Thank you very much. <laughs>